everyone. Welcome back to another week in our journey. If you're new here, let me fill you in. This is Behind the Design, our weekly series where I document my process in creating my own digital planner and building an online store from scratch. Each week, we dive into a new aspect of this creative journey from idea inception to final touches. I'll take you through every twist and turn. Throughout this journey, I'll be working closely with Shay, the founder of the Digital Planner Academy program and the Pink Ink Stationery brand. And I will be applying everything I learned from this incredible resource. You'll get to see all these teachings in action as we progress. We've got an exciting journey ahead of us, full of learning, exploration, and of course, a bit of fun. So whether you're joining us for the first time or have been following along, I'm thrilled to have you here. Okay, so let's dive into this week's video. Hi everyone, and welcome to week seven of Behind the Design. This is me documenting my journey as I create digital stationery to add to my online business, and I'm helped along the way by Shay from The Pink Ink. So this has been a really exciting creative journey. We are now in week seven, and I'm back home after four lovely weeks in Germany, in which I was inspired creatively, as well as gaining momentum in finishing a bunch of projects that I've had on the back burner. And yeah, I mean, it was quite sad. I went for my last ride with two of my good friends. It was really beautiful, cantering through the German countryside. It was time to say goodbye. I was a bit sad, but also I knew it was time for me to go home and focus on my projects back here. And then I did the trek back to Italy, traveling through Hamburg Airport as well as Munich Airport. And I saw something really interesting while I was in Hamburg Airport. I stopped by in a mole skin store and really had a look at their planners and noticed as well some of the new technology that they're promoting in terms of um, digitizing notebooks in a very interesting way. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it if you want to leave something in the comments. And now I'm settling back into um, my rhythm back at home and um, looking forward perhaps some future travels, maybe soon, but I'll keep you posted on that. But we've really had some exciting updates in terms of where I'm at with my digital planner. In week seven has seen me come to the end of me designing my digital planner. So that is my creative flow digital planner. I did the final touches of adding the dates to my digital planner. And I was very fortunate in the sense that I got a helping hand by using a system that Shay has developed that utilizes the data merge manager in Affinity Publisher. So what Shay has done uh, is she's created a file, a CSV in Google Sheets, in which she has formatted all the dates for 2024 that I can then connect where I want my dates to be reflected on my planner. and then. This data merge manager uses that CSV to auto populate the dates in my digital planner. This makes the process of adding dates to a digital planner way faster. And it was such a pleasure to use it for this planner. And one thing that I learned that I can take advantage of year over year is that basically I have to connect the fields as to where I want the dates to be added on the digital planner. And then I can save that as a file. So next year, I can add the CSV for 2025 because now I'm working on 2024. So next year, I will do the file for 2025 and I can easily upload the CSV and then I can auto populate the dates for the next year. So I can, and then I can make tweaks to up level my planner for the next year, etc. But my work of creating a planner is essentially done and I can basically repurpose my yearly planner year over year and utilize the system of data merge. One of the final steps of designing this planner as well was making sure that all my hyperlinks are linked correctly and it was really useful. At least I could go into my master pages and hyperlink all of the tabs for the month on one of the master pages and then copy that and then copy those tabs, those hyperlink tabs to the rest of the master pages that have the tabs. So fortunately, that made that process a bit easier. 
And then also another great thing in Affinity Publisher that I took advantage of that made the process of adding links a lot smoother is creating a shortcut for hyperlinking. So I used Command K. So I created this uh, custom shortcut. And as I work through the planner, every time I want to add a link to a specific element, I just press Command K and then I'm able to choose the page that I want to hyperlink. Something else that helped me along the way was using this table in the DPA workbook in which I could list all of my pages, which I can then reflect on as I'm hyperlinking because you need to hyperlink to a page number. So if you have them all written down, it makes it way easier just to have a look at your list of pages and then choose which one you want to link to. So that makes it so much easier. As I was finishing up my planner, I was considering what kind of digital products do I want to add to my digital product suite. And I decided I'm going to focus on a journal, which is my journal of 365 days of creative thought. And since I had been working on using the data merge manager, I sat with Shay on our call and we discussed how we could use the data merge manager in order to automatically populate my journal with the 365 prompts that I've gathered. Hi, Shay, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. That's good, I am back in Sicily. As you may tell, my in my white office, not as exciting as uh, the other okay. lovely locations, but nonetheless, I'm very happy. At least I can see my beautiful view again from my window, so I am quite happy. All right, so let's get started. I wanted to show you. Let me share my screen. So I've done just the framework of the journal. Okay. Um, which you can see here. So sorry, it's really just the, the basic outline that I've done. So no colors or anything. Mm -hmm. so you'll see I've got my master pages, but I haven't really done anything for my master pages just yet. But I, am, I have applied them to the pages that I've been working on. So for example, if I want to edit okay. some colors or whatever, then it could be easy to do that. But um, for the time okay. being, I've you know I've just been working on this needs to be more in the center, right? It doesn't look in the okay, so that's in the center. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should just go like that rather. And then you know it's really centered. So it was awesome to be able to easily just go and copy and paste my prompts into a Google Sheet file on each separate line. And then I was able to export that CSV and import it into Affinity Publisher and basically just tell Affinity Publisher where I want each prompt to go on the daily reflection page. And it auto-populated it for me, 365 days, which makes creating a journal like this so much easier. And since I had already created the planner, I already had an idea as to what the design aesthetic of this journal would be like. So it was really easy again to repurpose my digital planner and replicate the design elements in this journal. It just goes to show that the initial research that you put into designing this digital planner makes such a huge difference as you go forward in designing all of your other digital stationery products to accompany your signature product. Moving forward, I am now in a really exciting phase as to considering how I'm going to add these products to my website and also how I'm going to be updating my website to reflect some 
new type of services that I'm going to be offering and um, they tie in really nicely with these digital stationary products. That is going to be my focus for week eight. With that being said, stay tuned to see how I take my digital product and start to implement it into an online store. We really have some exciting things coming up in these last few weeks of Behind the Design and we hope that you stay along for the journey. Remember to keep creating and keep trying to be inspired and we'll see you next week. Okay, so that's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for joining me on this part of the journey. I hope it's giving you a glimpse into the creative process of designing a digital planner and setting up an online store. Each week brings new challenges, new victories, and a step closer to our goal. And you're excited to see how my digital planner turns out. Make sure you hit the like button and share this with anyone else interested in learning more about our journey. Remember, there's much more to come, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode. Together, we'll continue unlocking the creative journey one week at a time. Thank you for being part of this adventure. Until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next episode of Behind the Design. Okay, ciao!